relaxing voyage. And what weather? Weather forecasters predict freak storm to hit today at 3.47 p.m. at 23.5 degrees north latitude and 44 degrees west longitude. Uh, excuse me, Captain, but what is our position? 23.5 degrees north latitude and 44 degrees west longitude. I see. And uh, what time is it? 3.47 p.m. Boy, those weather forecasters are accurate. Never lost a chair on my ship. Hey, you can't do this to me! I had a first-class ticket! Hey, Cat, wake up. Come on, wake up. Uh, where am I? You're on a tropical island. Now, come on, you gotta get up. Why? Because it says so right here in the script. All right. <laughs> What's the big deal? Welcome to the kingdom of Mirthless. No punning allowed. Hmm, how very cinematic. No punning? What's wrong with puns? King Gawa hates puns. Hates puns? You mean they have a law against making puns? Yeah, the rule around Mirthless is use a pun, go to prison. Wait, wait, explain to me how... Where'd he go? He must have been kidding. King Dower? Use a pun, go to prison. What kind of place is this? Hey, that was some storm we had, wasn't it? It was raining cats and dogs. I know. I just dipped in a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what'd you do that for? It's every citizen's duty to report the commission of a pun. You'll do hard time for that. Ah, uh, come on, they wouldn't toss me in the slammer just for making a pun. Would they? It was just a joke. You guys could smile a little. Remember, if you have a face of stone, it could be taken for granted. Quiet! You're in enough trouble already. Another one, sire. He's charged with violating Article 7, Section 9. Unlawful usage of a joke, quip, riddle, or wisecrack based on wordplay. Yeah, what does that mean? Means you uttered a <coughs> pun. Puns are the lowest form of humor, an insult to human intelligence. I think puns are cool. That is not so. You're in denial. Do you know what denial is? Oh, sure. <laughs> denial is the river in the country of Egypt. <laughs> to pun before the king? Lock him in the dungeon for 500, no, a thousand years. A punster, right in our very midst. This is inconceivable. Your Highness, our spies have located the hideout of the rebels. Excellent. I have waited for the chance to crush their insidious movement. Soon, our land will be rid forever of the accursed, disgusting, lonesome practice of punning. <laughs> I robbed 27 banks and 32 gas stations. I stole 73 cars and $91 million in gold and jewels. I made a pun. A thousand-year prison sentence. Hey, don't worry. We'll spring you. But who are you? You're the guy who warned me about punning back in scene 23. Very good. I'm like Santa Claus, except I help people escape. You might say I'm an escape clause. My name is Shecky. I'm the leader of the Punderground Resistance. Punderground? I just said that. We seek to overthrow the tyrant who has made our beloved puns illegal. Here in the hideout, we can let our love of puns run rampant. Those are tiger lilies. Roar. And over there is a salad bar. Give me another. I want another one. I think you've had enough. And over there is potty training. Ready? One and two, and one and two, and flush and swirl. Oh, I get it. So that guy must be Genghis Khan. What are you talking about? That's my Uncle Louie. And now here's the weather report for the local Mexican restaurants. Chili today and hot tamale. Oh, ha! And at 3 o'clock each day, everyone looks at their belly button. Why do they look at their belly buttons at 3 o'clock? Because that's the Naval Observatory time! <laughs> I think you've just hit rock bottom. Say, Shex, aren't you worried that the king will find this place and send his goon squad to round you guys up? Not a chance. <laughs> okay, all right, maybe a slight chance. Sheesh, all that commotion over punning? Good thing they didn't know I was here. <laughs> You 
two will be the first of the criminal punsters to be sentenced. Have you any last requests before I send you to prison for the rest of your miserable lives? Yeah, can I use your bathroom? Why? Because I always wanted to see a royal flush. Oh, <laughs> enough! Silence, cat! And how about you, you little sneak? Oh, ha, well, hmm, your worship, uh, uh, actually, I was, uh... Hold on there, Shecky, old pal. Let me give you a hand. What's the matter, boy? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> what did you do that for? Because you made a pun. Cat got your tongue. Get it? I did. I did. I made a pun. <laughs> I guess that makes me a king pun. <laughs> Whoa! Your Highness, we have to arrest you. Laws is laws. No, I hereby repeal all laws against puns. Puns are now legal in Mirthless. Oh, in fact, they're encouraged. Well, we'll arrange a passage home, Felix. It's the least we can do to thank you. Uh, it's been a slice, Shecky. I guess Mirthless won't be so Mirthless anymore. I don't think so. Not only are puns legal now, but His Highness has become quite the punster. Yay! You know how to drive a baby buggy? Tickle his feet! When the doctor doesn't keep his word, it's just an MD promise! Hey, you know what this is? Yeah, cruel and unusual punishment. Felix the cat, the wonderful, wonderful cat. Hey, coffee, do you need coffee? Uh, hi, Roscoe. Uh, sure, you can borrow some coffee. Uh, can't wait. Beat it now. Roscoe, why couldn't you wait until morning for the coffee? If I waited until tomorrow morning, there wouldn't be any tomorrow morning. Mm -mm, this is weird, even for Roscoe. Uh, can't sleep. Well, how long have you been awake? Eleven days. <gasps> Why don't you want to sleep? Because if I sleep, he'll get me. Who'll get you? He will. Yes, it's me, Jeepers Creepers. When you sleep, I will invade your dream. And you know what'll happen? When I invade your dream, you don't wake up. <laughs> He's gonna get me. If I fall asleep, he'll get mad and I won't wake up. And that'll be the end of me there. <laughs> Ooh, you need sleep. I'll stand guard and I'll make sure that Jeepers Creepers stays out of your dreams. Yeah, but I'm wide awake. I drank all that coffee in there. <laughs> Brilliant move, Roscoe. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Creepers is after me! He's gonna get me help! Yeah, Felix! Felix! I'm here! I'm here! And so am I! Yeah, Jeepers Creepers! What do you want with him? Why? He would make an excellent addition to my dream vortex! <laughs> What's a dream vortex? <laughs> it's a place where my poor, hapless victims remain trapped forever and doomed to an eternal sleep. <laughs> yeah, at least there's couches. Yeah, but they're hard and lumpy. And video games? With only one controller. <laughs> Fools, this is my world. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I love it when they resist. What are we gonna do? This is your nightmare. We have to wake you up. <laughs> Roscoe, wake up! It's no use. You're out cold. Hey, let's go in there. It looks like fun. Are you nuts? So what if I am? 
<laughs> Ooh, that hurt. Late at night, you're tossing and turning, filled with fright. You thought you outgrew, and it might be quite disconcerting. I've got a lovely nightmare for you. As the moon looks down on your dreaming, this cartoon will come into view pretty soon. You're gonna start screaming, I've got a lovely nightmare for you. Here I am, here I am, here I am. <laughs> At daybreak, you'll never awaken once I take control as I do. Think it's fake. You're sadly mistaken. I've got a lovely nightmare. I feel you full of fright there. I've got a lovely nightmare for you. Anymore. Get some sleep. I'll check on you in the morning. Damn, what a pal. You better see how Roscoe's doing. Ah, the big lug's sleeping just fine. Checkmate. Oh, you win again. Time for me to wake up. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh... Best two out of three? Sure. <laughs> what a swell guy. <sighs> Man. This bites. Starting the day after yesterday, our ship has strayed off course into unknown territory. Our only hope lies with my first officer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you're a bad Regillian. Ooh. Mr. Gleep, have you been able to determine what's going on? Affirmative, Captain. Judging from the yellow moons, orange stars, and green clovers, we are trapped inside the crunchy goodness of a cosmic bowl of cereal. We're not equipped to become part of a nutritious breakfast. <laughs> Mr. Solo, evasive maneuvers. I, I, your worship. There's our destination. Plot of course, Lieutenant Dunn. Aye, Captain. Mail call! Uh, junk mail. Hey, don't bogart the mail, Phil. Uh, bill, Bill, Bill. Hey, your Aunt Esther sent you more catnip. Give me that! Engage overthrusters. 
Commence primary ignition. Cue dramatic music. Now, Lieutenant, disengage lateral cargo. Aye, Captain. What's going on? Eureka! If I carefully add this formula... Ah! Shut the door! Shut the door! The lights! Point Dexter, do you have any idea what is happening outside? Outside? Oh my! Perhaps we should consult with the master computer. Wow! Not that one, Mr. Felix! This one! I only use that one for video games. It appears, Mr. Felix, that an extraterrestrial expedition has designated our planetary body as a locale for jettisonable waste materials. Mr. Felix? Huh? Aliens are using Earth as a trash can! And it's up to us to stop them! Yeah, yeah, in a sec. Have no fear, Mr. Felix. My hypership is hydraulically balanced for complete and total safety. Could you say that again in English? Mr. Felix? Mr. Felix? Please observe the seatbelt sign. This imposing craft would appear to be the cause of it all. Well, duh! There appears to be no ingress. Don't worry, I saw this once in a movie. Hey, open up in there! E equals MC squared. <laughs> so, this is the Troublemakers. Skins, give it a full medical scan. It's dead, Tim. It would appear to be a Siamese geek cat. Um, excuse me, yeah, hi. Uh, are you from a planet where they have no emotions? No, actually, I'm just a bad actor. What do you freaks think you're doing? We are on a three-year mission to spawn sequels and spin-offs, to exploit legions of social outcasts. Oh, and to seek out new worlds on which to dump our garbage, to boldly dump where no man has dumped before. You can't use our planet as a junkyard! Why not? You do. <gasps> your rivers, your beaches, your canyons, your... Frankfurters, all filled with the filth you so frivolously fling. Poindexter, this is horrible. We're prisoners in a cartoon with a moral to it. We cannot let you interfere with our mission or its spin-offs. You must be eliminated. We need a brilliant plan, Poindexter. How about this? <laughs> After them. In here, didn't you have a plan for getting out? He's the brain, sweetheart. Wrong parody, miss. No! <laughs> hey, Poindexter, vacuum and dump! Apparently, a vacuum and dump control. We need to get a better genius. Let's see what this does, huh? Mr. Felix, hold me! Now? Any last requests? <laughs> How about Abba's knowing me, knowing you? And um, we'd like to be dumped with the rest of the garbage. <laughs> no, Abba! An excellent idea, Mr. Glee. Open the trash compartment. Captain, that is not a logical... I gave you an order, Mr. Glee. Now... Quick, point Dexter! The autopilot! Take the ship back where it came from. Energize. So long, Herbert. God. <sighs> Home 
home sweet home. I deduce that the voyagers of that mission will have to find another planet on which to dump. Wow, and this place is cleaner than I've ever seen it. <laughs> All of Earth's trash was suctioned up with the space garbage. Well, let's do our best to keep it this way, huh? <gasps> another spacecraft. This one of advanced design. What do you mean? I'm afraid it's star trash. The next sanitation. <laughs>